Hey, welcome and happy learning. We are going to discuss thyroid storm today. So, thyroid storm is abrupt onset of severe hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. So, it is the severe most form of hyperthyroidism thyrotoxicosis and generally it is a medical emergency that needs to be dealt, uh, dealt promptly. So, let us have a look of uh, the thyroid hormone synthesis and action before going to the thyroid uh, storm. So, thyroid hormone synthesis starts with the action of TRH or thyroid releasing hormone from hypothalamus which uh, causes the uh, release of TSH from anterior pituitary. The TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone in turn leads to the secretion of T3 and T4, the hormones from thyroid gland. T3 is the metabolic active hormone where T4 is the major form of circulating hormone. These two hormones get bound to the thyroid binding globulin and uh, on entering the target cells the T4 majority of the T4 gets converted into the T3 the metabolically active hormone. So this is how the action of thyroid hormone is exerted. The common clinical conditions associated with thyroid storms are various infections various surgical conditions, post-surgical uh, condition, trauma and childbirth. The important predisposing conditions that can lead to thyroid storm are Graves disease, toxic multinodular goiter and also uh, follicular adenomas with toxicity or increased synthesis. And how does it uh, manifest it? So, thyroid hormone synthesis, uh, when uh, it's enhanced, uh, or it is the increase of thyroid hormone is uh, is much more enhanced in thyroid storm. That leads to acute elevation in the catecholamine level as well as sensitivity to catecholamine. So, thyroid hormone increased thyroid hormone causes increased release of catecholamine or increased sensitivity to catecholamine. That is the normal action of thyroid hormone, which is exaggerated in thyroid storm. So, because of the increased action of thyroid hormone and this catecholamine, there is tachycardia and tachyarrhythmia. These are the most uh, uh, lethal complications that can arise and can even lead to the death of the patient. So, tachycardia, tachyarrhythmia, cardiac dysfunction promptly happen in thyroid storm. Patient may have a uh, hyperparexia, increased, fe increased fever, persistently high fever. CNS dysfunction is seen in many of the patients with the patient suffering from agitation and altered sensorium uh, may be seen. GI disturbances may be seen in the form of nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. So, all these are the cardinal manifestation out of which the cardiac arrhythmias particularly may prove fatal to the patient. So, the lab abnormalities include decreased thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH level is decreased. There is increased T3 and T4, increased T3 and T4 leads to the decreased TSH and in many of the cases uh, due to the increased action of thyroid hormones even we see some elevated liver enzymes can also be seen in some of the patients. Now how do you treat uh, the thyroid uh, strom? How do you treat that? So we need to uh, employ different strategies towards antithyroid drugs, propyl thyroracil, that can that causes a decreased conversion of, of uh, metabolic dec decreased conversion of, and synthesis of metabolic uh, early active hormones. So it blocks the action of a TPO thyroid peroxidase enzyme that is implicated in the synthesis of thyroid hormones. So de decreased re re synthesis and release of thyroid hormone release occurs because of antithyroid drugs. Beta blockers, propranolol can decrease the action of adrenaline. Iodides, potassium iodide, iodine can also lead to decreased synthesis of thyroid hormone. So, that can also uh, decrease the manifestations of thyroid storm. Steroids can be used uh, in severe inflammatory conditions, persisting inflammatory conditions associated uh, with Graves disease. So, prednisone is particularly affected. Bile acid uh, resins, cholesteramines can also potentially uh, interrupt uh, the intrahepatic recycling of the thyroid hormone and can disrupt uh, the thyroid hormone synthesis. So, let us have a quick recap of uh, what we learned uh, today. The quick, uh, so, what we learned today is there are stressful conditions uh, and the patients with existing Graves disease, toxic swellings like 
toxic nodular goiter and follicular adenomas these are particularly predisposed and the patients are uh, treated generally with antithyroid drugs beta blockers steroids these are the common form of drugs that are employed it's a medical emergency and cardiac, cardiac arrhythmia can be particularly fatal and uh, the major manifestations are due to increased thyroid hormone which causes increased catecholamine action thank you all for the patient hearing and uh, see you all in the next presentation soon